the qi, which in Chinese means obtaining the qi, refers to sensations of tightness, of soreness or heaviness that the patient feels at the point which was needled during an acupuncture session. Some patients may feel a bit uh, surprised or even disturbed by this dirty sensation, especially if they have never experienced uh, acupuncture before. So you want to make sure to make things right and prepare in advance, let them know in advance they will uh, experience dirty and make sure there is informed consent about that. So please check our video on informed consent if you're interested. In general, dirty is also traditionally associated with clinical efficacy. And there is actually even modern evidence um, supporting the fact that dirty is associated with clinical efficacy. So most people will try to achieve some medium to strong uh, degree of dirty during the acupuncture session. In this video now, we're going to show you um, how to use stimulation techniques to improve this dirty. Okay, so we're going to start with the first technique, which is the lifting thrusting method. Basically, lifting and thrusting is just inserting the needle deeper and coming back upwards. So, down, up, down, up. So, you're going to do that back and forth for a few seconds. The range of the movement is about half soon. But it depends on the point location on the on the body side of the patient as well. So the second technique is a twirling method, which is also very common. It's basically rotating the needle back and forth in the two directions, so clockwise and anticlockwise. This method is more appropriate for um, points when there is not much flesh, such as the hands and feet. Then we can use um, the twisting method. So the twisting method is turning the needle in one direction only. Uh, so when we do that, this will actually um, twist the muscle fibers and um, this will pr produce a very strong needling sensation, but there is also a risk of getting stuck needle. The third one is the rotation method, which is basically turning the handle of the needle around the point at a degree of around 30 30 degrees. Then there is the flicking method, which is basically flick, flicking the handle of the needle with your index, like this. And this will also stimulate the dirty sensation. We have also the flying method, which is pressing with your three fingers the needle and then you let go very quickly. And this will also stimulate the acupuncture points. We have uh, the scratching method, which is using your fingers to scratch the handle of the needle like this. Then uh, finally, you can also press along the channel to stimulate the chi. Um, so here we have the um, hand yaming channel, so this is going this way. I can just press along the channel in order to stimulate the dirty sensation. You can also use qi activation techniques to strengthen the effect of the needle. So qi activation techniques consist in either visualizing and focusing attention on the needle or the area that is affected by the disease or moving the area affected by the disease, or doing some massage on that area. So I'm going to show you the first. Um, so Samantha will just ask you to visualize the, ne the needle uh, while I'm doing this manipulation. Okay, so this is just visualization. Now we can visualize your neck as I'm doing this manipulation. Very good. Now I'm going to ask you to rotate your neck in a clockwise uh, manner while I'm doing this manipulation. Thanks. So you can go like this for a couple of minutes. And, and finally you have a third way, so thank you very much. And I'll just do some massage on this, um, on the neck. 
while I'm doing the manipulation at the same time. Or you can just leave the needle and just massage the area as the needle is in inside the tissues. So this is another way to get the chi to the area of the disease. Additionally, you can also stimulate the needle using electroacupuncture and also warm needles. If you want to learn more about these techniques, please check our videos on electroacupuncture and on moxibustion. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Johan Berling, clinician, lecturer and researcher. This video was produced by Sydney Institute of Traditional Chinese Medicine. Please check our tutorials and more information on the school in the description below. You can join our community and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Good practice and take care.